y'all. Happy New Year. My name is Sonali and welcome to a new vlog. The only thing better than the New Year happening on a Monday would be the New Year happening on a Sunday because then you can actually take the time to like reset after, you know, your New Year's Eve plans and all that kind of stuff and actually get your shit together before you head into work on Monday or even just start working on your goals and intentions for the new year. So I thought we could do the ultimate Sunday reset. Sunday resets or just resets in general can be whatever you want as long as you feel ready for the week ahead. Whether that's cleaning your space to make you feel less anxious, writing down your to-dos for the week, or even just chilling at home and catching up on your favorite Netflix shows. Whatever way you recharge and at the end of the day, you know better than anyone else. It's super hard for me to be consistent with a healthy lifestyle and just like showing up at the gym um, especially with the holidays and traveling back home but I really really do want to make it a point to go to the gym at least four times a week I'm hoping in the new year I've been slowly starting to implement it before the new year so I don't feel this you know immense pressure to start it like right on January 1st. So we're gonna go to the gym and it really does not have to be anything crazy My favorite thing to do at the gym is to just go on the treadmill and just do Random little tasks that you have on your phone. So for example, you can go clear space in your camera roll Which I've definitely been trying to work on because I've just taken so many vertical videos this year and going through them takes a lot of time um, So I'll probably do that today And then I also love to just like watch TikToks and edit TikToks on the treadmill So just like any task that you can get done on the treadmill on your phone or you can obviously just watch Netflix or YouTube. Once I finish on the treadmill I just like to pair it with like an arm or a leg workout so either like lunges and squats and all that kind of stuff or I'll just grab the lightest pair of dumbbells and do very small isolated movements and it really really burns but like I said I don't do anything too crazy and I also don't really know a lot about the gym so I kind of keep it simple and for me the most important thing is just showing up at the gym and getting a little bit active because most of the day I'm sedentary I literally sit in front of my computer and I am totally that person if I don't work out in the morning it is literally not happening the whole day so gotta get it done first thing in the morning so let's go to the gym steps I kind of like lost track of time because I was just doing some work on my phone but it just makes time go so much faster when you're obviously distracted and things you kind of have to do on your phone um, but I'm starving and we're gonna make some breakfast I think I'm just gonna do some avocado toast because that just sounds really refreshing and like filling so let's do it One thing about me is that I'm a sauce girl, a condiments girl, like whatever you call it. This is my newest obsession, Mike's Hot Honey. I even asked for like white truffle oil for Christmas. Um, but this is just so good because you kind of get that sweet and then I put like salt on it. So it's like sweet and salty and a little bit of a kick. Like it's not too spicy, but I don't even have to add like the chili flakes because that's just kind of what it tastes like. It's like honey with the chili flakes, but you don't have to add them. So this is definitely one of my go-to breakfasts. I think I'm gonna edit a vlog for a little bit and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and probably start cleaning. I also just remembered I need to switch the laundry over. I am showered, I am moisturized, and I just slipped into an aloe sweat set because we're going to be comfy today. And I think I've decided I don't want to put on any makeup today because I just definitely want to do a lot of chilling later today. Um, but I do want to clean a little bit because my microwave is disgusting <laughs> and I also need to put on my sheets and duvet cover. I think it's done now. Um, definitely want to wipe the counters, maybe clean the bathroom a little bit. I'm forgetting something. It was definitely on my to-do list, but I'm forgetting one thing that I really wanted to clean. Let's get this all over with so we can actually chill in peace because I feel like if my apartment is like cluttered or just like I know it's dirty, I kind of feel a little bit guilty inside. So 
Let's do this. I'm honestly so embarrassed to show you my microwave right now because it's so disgusting. But I found this little hack on TikTok the other day that you could just put baking soda, like two tablespoons of baking soda. And then they're saying one cup of water. And we're just gonna microwave this for five minutes. And they say it like loosens up all the gunk in your microwave so you don't have to like spend too much time really like scrubbing it down. So let's put this in the microwave and hopefully it works. This is the before, I know, terrible, disgusting. I think my plan of action is to go in with this Dawn Power Wash and one of these little green pads. I wish I had more than one scrub daddy, but I don't. And I used that one for my dishes, so that would be kind of gross if I cleaned the microwave with it. But I'm gonna take this plate out and then clean that in the sink. I am so glad this is finally getting done because every time I go to use the microwave, I see how dirty and disgusting it is, but I never have the time to actually clean it. So, Thank God it's getting done today. I'm gonna feel like a brand new woman with a brand new microwave. Oh my God, wait. Doing that baking soda really worked. I'm gonna try to let you guys see up close if I can. Look how satisfying it is. Like it just comes right off. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder. I think a paper towel will just do the job. It's sort of that green thing. I'm shook at how well that cleaned my microwave. And that was not even that hard. Time to do the most dreaded part of washing the sheets and everything, putting on the duvet. I have tried like the little hacks that, again, I found on TikTok. They just never work out for me or just like, I'm not understanding how to do it. So I just struggle, but let's get it over with. Let's do it. I actually recently just got these new sheets and they look so white compared to the ones I've been using <laughs> and I don't even self tan like how does that happen does my brown just rub off I guess so I have been living alone for the past, um, I guess it's like six months now, which is crazy to think about because I was terrified of doing it, like terrified. And now <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's kind of nice. I've just really found joy in like listening to my own podcasts on my Google thing. I, I think it's like a Google Home. I'm not really sure what it is. I think we got it for free. I have no idea how, but... <laughs> I use it every single day, so I'm glad I got it for free. Um, but I just tell like, hey Google, like play blah blah podcast. And, and honestly, play international on Spotify. Hey Google, stop. This year I do want to be a little bit more intentional with the podcasts I listen to. I feel like the past years I only really listened to podcasts that were kind of just like girl talk, which I love because it's just really in the background. Like I'm not really paying too much attention. And plus, because I live alone, I love just hearing other people talk or like any kind of sound going on in the background. It's just like helpful to not feel that alone. So I definitely want to try to find more podcasts. I feel like my favorite right now is What We Said. And I've been kind of liking the Mel Robbins podcast. That's definitely more self-help kind of more about like manifestation and I'm kind of getting into that. I've also really been loving just playing music on the Google Home and I'll tell her to play like Hillary Duff, All American Rejects, like just like really oldie but goodie songs that you just like want to scream the lyrics and it feels so good. But today I feel like I have a lot of YouTube to catch up on and there's always like so many Netflix shows coming out, HBO Max, like I mean unfortunately White Lotus is already finished. It was so good. We watched it 
I think it was like early, no, mid-December. I guess it wasn't that long ago, but it was so good. I'm sad <laughs> that I already finished it. Um, but there's always so much content to watch, and that is what I love most about Sundays because I can just catch up on all my favorite TV shows, especially without feeling guilty. I just fucked up the couch a little bit, and I usually just put this little like throw blanket on this ottoman especially because Sophie loves to just like run and jump all over this and sometimes her paws are not the cleanest and it is performance fabric so you can just kind of like wipe it off um but if I don't have to do that why would I do that so I usually just keep this on there and then I love this blanket it's from Amazon and look how big it is it literally covers more than me but I like to put this like over here. It just makes it so much more cozy when there's like a bunch of blankets on the couch. Um, and I feel like it kind of defeats having a white couch, but like I can always take it off if I really wanted to. But again, it's just so much more cozy. It is candle time. I'm feeling clean. I'm feeling cozy. I recently bought this one from Target and it smelled heavenly when I bought it, but then I took it home, lit it. It gave me the worst headache ever. Love that. But this is like the most beautiful little piece of home decor. I got it a while ago on Amazon because I was inspired by this thing I saw from CB2. And it just like glows like you put two tea light candles in there. I actually want to get like a larger one. There's like the thicker, taller ones. I want to get that for this because um, I feel like that will just fill it up better. I feel like I have to like refill the tea light candles like almost every day. But this just gives the prettiest glow. I'll try to remember to show you guys um later tonight and i guess i can just put this for decor somewhere else because i don't know if i'm gonna light this one again this candle though is the best candle this is what it's called raspberry and black vanilla from this brand and it smells like like sweet i don't even know like sweet obviously raspberries but it's just so heavenly so i'm definitely gonna like this one because those tea lights don't have a scent. I guess I could buy some that have scents, but it's okay. I think I like to light like a scented one and then have that for decor. I've been watching some YouTube and a lot of my New Year's intentions, resolutions, whatever you want to call them, goals, I guess, are numerical. So I've just been kind of like setting up some like graph kind of things I found on Canva. Um, I think you would probably do a lot for free in Canva. Honestly, I know how to use Photoshop, like the basics of it. Now that I know Canva exists with all these already made like templates and everything, I go straight to Canva. So for example, I want to track, um, some follower counts and I just like want to see like how fast I'm growing this year and all that kind of stuff. So I just made a little bar graph in canva i'm gonna try to update this weekly but maybe more realistically it might be like every other week um but i did also want to share this really cool app with you guys it's called daily habit and there's a bunch of these apps and i'm pretty sure i bought a subscription for this one basically all you have to do is like customize the habits that you want so for example let's say walking 10k steps a day and then i'll hit it if i did actually i'm kind of curious if i did because i walked kind of a lot on the treadmill this morning let's see if i already hit it oh 9459 i'm almost there um i do have a walking pad in my um office so i might do that later just to hit it so i'm gonna go ahead and like check mark it off and then you just see like the whole week of it like lit up and it just like is a good feeling keeps you kind of in check of like what your goals actually are um i'm pretty sure you can like add as many as you want on this thing around the holidays i always feel a little bit shitty about myself i'm not gonna lie just because i'm eating literally everything in sight and as i should be like i want to enjoy the holidays and not really have to worry about you know all of that kind of stuff but i feel like not that i need to do a juice cleanse but i did want to do some juicing because another one of my new year's goals is to use all my kitchen appliances a lot more than i do i mean i honestly did not do a great job of cooking at home this year i feel like i definitely ate out a lot more than i wanted to but i bought a juicer in 2021 on black friday and i love it to death i just 
sometimes forget I have it because it's like underneath my cabinet, but I bought some stuff to juice. So let's do that and we can like batch some juice for the coming week. Okey Got the juicer out, but we actually need to prep the fruit and veggies first because I have not done that yet. So let's get it all out. There's this brunch place that I always used to go to in college called First Watch. And they actually have one here in Austin, like up north somewhere. But they sell this juice called the Kale Tonic, and it is so freaking delicious. So I always try to make a version of that. So we have some apples, kale, cucumber, lemon. Am I missing anything? I think I need to look at the recipe again. So I feel like something's missing. I love this juicer so much. You'll see in a second how freaking awesome it is because um, normal juicers, you have to feed it kind of like one by one little cucumber stalk or like one half of an apple at a time. But this one has a huge hopper at the top of it. So you actually can just walk away. It's almost like a KitchenAid for a juicer because you can, you know, multitask in the kitchen. I literally sold my dad on buying one because he was looking for a juicer and he was looking at another brand. I was like, wait, literally, I feel like mine's better and it's way cheaper than the one he was looking at. Um, it's definitely not cheap, but if you love juicing, like definitely recommend this one because also it's really easy to clean up. And I'm not just saying that, like it is super simple. Like if I can do it, I feel like anyone can do it. We just have one more cucumber to cut up. And then also I should probably cut up like the lemon because like oranges and lemons and limes and stuff like that, you don't really want to put like the skin in the juicer because then it's going to be super bitter. I tried it once with an orange and it was really disgusting. Um, so you kind of have to like, peel that all. I kind of wish I had some ginger. I feel like that would have been good in this one. So this is how big the hopper is. It's pretty big, not big enough for like all of that stuff, especially with the kale at the same time. So we're definitely going to have to do like a couple rounds. So starting with some kale, some apples, cucumber. I just want it to be like all mixed up really good. So I just want to do a little bit of everything at the same time. Sometimes if you want to cut down your pieces a little bit smaller to make them fit a little bit better, that is an option. But we'll just start with this and see what it does. This is the best part. Oh my god. Amazing. I also wanted to show you guys this part. Like, there's pretty much no liquid in there. It is a little damp for the most part. This thing is like a powerhouse. I couldn't wait till I was done. I was like really wanting to try it. So, let's do a little taste test. It's so good. Best juice recipe ever. I feel like if you put apples in anything, it's going to be like sweet and good. So that's kind of why I like it. I'm going to finish all the rest of the fruit. There's a lot more. I'm going to be stocked up on juice this week. I have a really bad problem where I buy fruits and vegetables and they go bad sometimes. Um, and even these cucumbers were kind of going bad, but I was just like... Let's just juice it, see what happens, and it tastes fine. I also heard that you could juice frozen fruit. Like, I think you let it thaw out, but I really want to try that one day because it's probably cheap that way, too. <gasps> no. Got two big bottles of juice, so like I said, all stocked up. <laughs> and I'm just enjoying the one I poured. I took out some frozen chicken around noon to let it thaw out because I think I'm gonna do butter chicken tonight. That just sounds really good. So I think I'm going to make it, but I never really make it from scratch. Last year's New Year's resolution was to learn how to cook some Indian dishes. And honestly, I didn't do that. <laughs> so that goal is gonna carry on to this year, but today we're actually gonna make just butter chicken from like a packet that I get at HEB. 
Um, it's just so easy. So all I have to do is like cook the chicken, put the packet in, done. And then I have some like roti stuff that I have frozen. I think that's gonna be dinner tonight. And I'm going to probably play some YouTube while I cook. at night and I was just getting a little too comfortable on the couch so I'm gonna do my little night routine and then get myself to bed but I feel like there's not many nights that I go to sleep without my heatless curling thing on my head ever since I dyed my hair back which was was that in August I feel like I just did it but ever since I dyed my hair back to my natural color I've just been really wanting to keep it as healthy as I can. And I've actually had this thing for a really long time, this heatless curling ribbon, I think they call it. And I have used it in the past, but I literally just perfected how to like use it and make it look perfect every single time. Um, so I'm just starting off with dry hair. That is the... <coughs> okay. That's the key, is to start off with dry hair. And I'm using this Playa Nude Mist. <coughs> and I'm just dampening it a tiny, tiny bit. I misplaced my claw clip, so I just used some random one. A lot of people take one piece of hair and then wrap it around and then add some hair to that piece, wrap it around, but I found that this way that I'm about to show you guys, even though I've already shown you guys in another vlog, I, I just feel so passionate about this, okay? So basically, you're going to want to take your front bangs, or just like your front pieces of hair, and we're going to start how I just said, pull tight, make sure you pull tight because um, I think that will definitely make or break. I guess how tight you want the curls. Okay, now we're gonna take a piece in the back. I'm gonna just like brush it down. And we're gonna be bringing this across in the front and then back to where it was. Now we're going to add hair onto the first piece in the front. And brush that together and then take it across the front and back to the back. I was showing a friend this one night and she was like, so it's basically like braiding. I was like, wait, yeah. Like the heatless curling ribbon is like the third strand. So I thought that was kind of cool. So taking that back piece, it's gonna come across in the front and go back around the back. And then you just keep doing that until you run out of hair and then just keep wrapping it and tie it off. So now I'm just gonna wrap around the ends, but we're gonna leave a little bit of the ends of the hair out because it gets a little too curly if you don't. So I just recommend you do so, but not like too much because then it looks weird. Okay, so kind of like that. And when you do this way, instead of the first way I showed you guys, it barely moves in your sleep because I feel like the other way it gets really loose in here. So we're just gonna, oh, just fixing the claw clip and then we're gonna do the other side. 
I've been watching some YouTube on the TV and like multitasking. I was editing some um, client galleries and then also just replying to emails because whenever I'm home, I am so, so bad at like answering emails. I don't know why, but that's another thing I need to do this year is just get better about like replying to emails faster. I'm not sure why I do that, <laughs> but it needs to stop. The only thing about these heatless curls is that if you want curly hair, you have to decide the night before. You can't really decide day of unless you have like a couple of hours because it definitely works if you have just a couple of hours, but it works better when you leave it in overnight. Within the last like month or two months, I think I only used heat on my hair like maybe three, four times like to blow dry it. Um, but I've just been loving doing this and if it's heatless and it turns out literally perfect, not only that, it saves me so much time in the mornings because this takes me like three minutes, especially when I'm not talking to the camera and I can just do it really fast. And then in the mornings, I take it out and it's like perfect. Well, I have to like brush through it and then I like flip my head over because sometimes it gets a little too curly in the mornings, but throughout the day it like falls perfectly. I'm just like shook over this and I just need to share my love for it because I feel like this is definitely going to be the key to healthy hair in the new year and I'm very excited about it. I'm very happy that I made the decision to do no makeup today, but we're just going to do a little more skincare before we go to bed, putting on some Sunday Riley Luna Oil. I swear by this, it is amazing. It's pricey, but like, holy crap. I have never consistently had like better skin than like these past few months where I've been pretty consistent with this oil. And I've also been using this Clarence Serum. I don't even know if I should be using these at the same time, but sometimes I do. Especially in the mornings, I like to use this. And then like definitely at night, Luna oil all the way. It's so good. I do get my brows laminated, so I make sure to brush them out before I go to sleep. Just brush them all the way up to the sky. That wraps up this Sunday Reset vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and felt chill and calm while you're watching it and just reset for the new year ahead. I have such a good feeling about this year and I cannot wait to see what comes of it. And I'm sending my best wishes to you. Kill it this year. We're going to do great things. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.